almonds rain down the conveyor belt as humans and machines work together to identify the nuts that don't make the grade. Well, anywhere you see an almond showing a lot of white, it should pick it up. It's also looking for bits of foreign material. Long before Dave Fippen's almonds reach this point, they have to survive in these quiet orchards a short drive away. But you only get to choose once every 25 years when you plant an orchard and you, and you live with it. <laughs> Rows of almond trees highlighted in green that, when you look closely, give reason for some growers to feel encouraged about the crop to come. When we look at this limb right here, we see a lot of possibilities. We see some very large almonds that are broken their jacket. Large almonds, Dave and other farmers assume, will stick to these limbs and mature, but the gamble is in these much smaller almonds. We also see some little guys like this one right here. We're wondering if we're going to get that one. See, that just fell off, so we're probably not going to get that one. So my glass is half full. If I think that I'm going to get a range of some large and some small, my glass is pretty empty if I'm only going to get the large ones. That's life in the almond business, waiting to see just how much crop a tree will shed. So that's what every grower in California is doing right now. He's looking at kind of just pushing them with his finger to see what's going to stay <clears throat> and what's going to go off. Of course, there are other concerns like bacteria, frost, and too much rain, adding to the mystery of the almond outlook. In Manteca, Max Resnick, KCRA 3 News.